r slash ask reddit what's the most useless piece of information that you know off the top of your head a capitonym is word that changes its meaning and sometimes its pronunciation when capitalized the polish to make shine polish relating to poland remove polish and nobody cares remove polish and you're literally hitler there is a place in England called the Rhubarb Triangle where rhubarb grows so fast you can hear it. Bamboo grows so quickly it can be heard as well. My childhood house was 50 miles away from the Rhubarb Triangle and every summer, no matter how hard you tried to deal with it we would get an infestation. Of rhubarb. Yep, worst part was I don't even like rhubarb but would have it forced upon me at least once a week for dessert. A second is called a second because it is the second division of the hour by 60, the first division being a minute. I don't know why but this blows my mind. I feel like I've never noticed that second and second are the same word until right now, and it's blowing my mind too. Yes yeah, same thing for me, they were two totally different words in my head until now, they practically might as well have been spelled or pronounced differently because I didn't link them together at all. It never even occurred to me that the phrase give me a second can have two different meanings. Then why is a minute called a minute? Dumb question probably. Not at all. Ptolemy used pars minuta prima, first small part, 4 1 60th of an hour, which got abbreviated to minute and pars minuta seconda, second small part, 4 1 60th of a minute, which got abbreviated to second. There were 48 years between the invention of the can and the can opener. People just used to stare at tin cans all day. Bash them with rocks. Mash them put them in a stew. I was made for love in you baby, you were made for love in me. The number of syllables in this is the same as the number of stairs going from the second floor to the main floor of my condo building. I know this because that song was stuck in my head and I sang it in my head as I walked down the stair to the song's rhythm. This is the most useless one yet, for sure. Damn. Most of the comments in here are at least semi-interesting but this one, this one truly embodies the title of the post. Flatworms have two penises that they use to fight each other, called penis fencing. The winner inseminates the loser, who then becomes the female and carries the eggs. Worst date ever. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones is an avid reader. Contrary to his popular image, he owns one of the world's largest private libraries, and often spends days at a time reading when he's not touring. My friend and I did some rudimentary estimation a few years ago, and came to the conclusion that Keith Richards had probably smoked approximately 850,000 cigarettes in his life, probably more like 900,000 now. I hope he makes it to a million. The Mall of America largest mall in the US. It's huge, doesn't have any heaters. It stays warm through body heat, large sun windows, and good insulation. This is doubly impressive when you consider it's located in Minnesota. Edit. Fifth largest mall in America. Darn you. National Geographic Kids Factbook. Edit number 2. Ro. This got really popular. Thank you all for the cool comments upvotes. I'm trying to reply to comments but I have poor cell service so I'm doing my best. If I recall correctly, they also run the AC all year round due to the amount of heat visitors generate. Hippos secrete a red, oily substance called blood sweat that keeps their skin moisturized and water repellent. I read that as hippies. Oranges are considered berries. Fun fact, the color was named after the fruit, not the other way around. Wait what? Yep, before the fruit, the color orange had no name. It was basically known as a yellow red. The earliest known usage of the word orange to refer to the fruit is around the 13th century. The earliest use of the word orange to refer to the color is the 16th century. Barbie's real name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. She's also from Wisconsin. The corpse of Elmer McCurdy lived a curious second life as prop for 65 years, longer than he was actually alive. The skull of Tchaikovsky was used in Hamlet performed by the Royal Shakespeare Company. Not the Tchaikovsky we think of. I was thinking of Dave Tchaikovsky. France was still executing people by guillotine when the first Star Wars movie came out. The first elevator shaft was built before the elevator was invented. 
The guy knew elevators were going to be on the market soon so he incorporated a shaft into his new building so it would be ready. Unfortunately the elevator shaft he built was round and so no elevator could fit in it. All that made me so sad. And probably him too. The longest chicken flight ever recorded is 13 seconds. Read this as chicken fight and it definitely changed the tone of this post. The femur is the strongest bone in the human body and can support 30 times your body weight. Does this depend on your own weight or not? Do fat people have bones that are twice as strong as mine or can their femur only support 15 times their own body weight? I would assume average human body weight as changes in weight would not change the properties of the bone. Betty White is older than sliced bread by 6 years. She was the best thing before sliced bread. Or sliced bread was the best thing since Betty White. In a clockwork orange, Alex's prison number is 655,321. I have no idea why I would even know that or why it would stick with me 20 years after seeing the film. A narwhal's tusk is actually its left canine tooth. Does it travel through their skull? What even is this? More importantly it grows through their lip. The chemical that give both lemons and oranges their smell is the same. They are just optical isomers of each other. Stereoisomers are wild. The same molecule, carvone, is responsible for the smell of spearmint, r-carvone, and s-carvone, caraway seeds. 118 ridges on a quarter. Ridges were originally added so they were not shaved on the sides of the coins to make more coins. The ridges indicated they were not tempered. Now it's just tradition to do so. The nickel is smooth because it's worthless. Life is worthless. What? The flag of Jamaica is the only national flag without red, white or blue. The previous flag of Libya was all green. I wonder if you knew this fact before or after the revolution. If that didn't root to Wikipedia, I'd think you just posted a green rectangle. Scientists estimate more than a third of all animal species on earth are parasitic wasps. What the? What scientists? It's crazy right? Beetles have similarly higher levels of speciation. It's estimated they alone account for about a quarter of all animals. And yes that means beetles and wasps together make up somewhere around 50% of all animal species on earth. This led J. B. S. Haldane to give us my favorite biology quote of all time. God must have an inordinate fondness for beetles. Wait so a third parasitic wasps and a quarter beetles, that's 60% accounted for. Maybe even more. We've barely begun to even count the wasps. And we still think we might be underestimating beetle speciation. Despite being the most well documented and catalogued order on earth. There are more species of ladybug than there are species of mammals. Frogs can't swallow with their eyes open. They use their eyes to push the food down their throats. Once a sheep lies on its back it is physically unable to get back up. And seagulls will happily peck out their eyes while they're stuck like that. Source. GF grew up on a sheep farm. It happened a number of times. Seagulls are scary as duck. I once saw one eat a pigeon. A whale's fart bubble is large enough to encapsulate a horse. I need to see this happen. Domestic cats can run 30 miles per hour when sprinting across the house. Impressive. But only at 2 a.m. while you're trying to sleep. Koalas are so dumb that if you put leaves that aren't on a tree in front of them, they would starve before thinking it's food. Rats prefer jazz music on cocaine. They prefer jazz to silence. But did anyone try playing them Norwegian folk metal? More experiments are required. If you put a radio's antenna in your mouth it improves the reception noticeably. That's because your skull acts as a pretty sweet signal booster. Nigeria loses on average 150-200,000 barrels of crude oil every day due to illegal activities theft. That's quite a wide range. Yes, it's a crude estimate. Nebraska University's football stadium becomes the third largest city in the state on game day. West Virginia University's stadium becomes the largest city in West Virginia. Scooby-Doo's real name is scooby doo That the sound of an Imperial TIE fighter from Star Wars is a mix of a car thriving on wet pavement and an elephant trumpeting. The TIE and TIE fighter stands for Twin Iron Engine. They are a real thing and are used by satellites to keep orbit around the Earth. Cows can't walk downstairs. 
As someone who has a basement bedroom, I can say this is false. Your mother made it down just fine. R.I.P. Melissa. Rolig means funny in Swedish but calm in Norwegian. Rolig means horny in Germany. Originally it's a German word for on heat when it comes to cats. All odd numbers has the letter E in it. Snakes don't have eyelids. That one scene in the first Harry Potter was bullshit. Snakes with fake eyelids is where I draw the line in fictional settings myself. Elephants can't jump. They only do it when no one is looking. Australia is the only continent where the native population did not develop and utilize a bow and arrow. Baby elephants suck on their trunks just like human babies will suck on their thumbs. Elephants think they're cute. They see us like we see dogs. Penguins have an organ above their eyes that converts seawater to fresh water. That horses can't puke due to an acute angle in their stomachs which prevents puke from going back up. And this can lead to all kinds of horrible medical problems if they eat something bad. You puke to get rid of nasty stuff, but they can't. There are more plastic flamingos than real ones. Similarly, there are more garden gnomes than real ones. Barcode scanners don't actually scan the black lines. They scan the white spaces in between. Giraffes are the best sniffer dogs but are too tall for the job. The University of Oxford was founded before the Aztec Empire was. Invariably shows up on these threads and haven't seen anyone post it. The phrase mind your P's and Q's originated with printers. Handset metal type is reversed, so it prints facing the correct direction so a lowercase p looks like a Q and is very easy to mix up while typesetting. The same is true of lower, case B's and E's. Contrary to popular opinion the phrase has nothing to do with pints and quarts. Two regulation basketballs can fit side by side in a regulation basketball hoop ring. Disney's Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, now closed, at California Adventure stands at 183 feet tall and was the tallest building in the city of Anaheim. The attraction was replaced by Guardians of the Galaxy, Mission Breakout, which uses the same structure and ride system. The Queen of England owns all unmarked mute swans in open water. Britain consumes 95% of the world's baked beans. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru